it, the dynamic changed a little bit. I kind of, you know, I had gotten my feet wet on the second one and I was able to kind of cruise right through the third one. But uh, it was it was so much fun. It was basically like a reunion for me and again, I guess the third one for, for the other girls. Uh, but yeah, I, I was such a huge fan of the first movie and so honored to be a part of the second and to come back for the third. Oh yeah, I distinctly remember I went to the theater to see it with a friend of mine and my parents and my friend and I sat in a in a row in uh, in front of my parents and I just remember like if my friend and I weren't singing along to our favorite song I would turn around and my parents were singing along to a song and it just felt like this really is a movie for everyone and it just makes you feel good and it makes you laugh and we walked out of the theater and talked about the movie for weeks and I still can't believe I'm like in it. <laughs> Oh gosh, well that's hard because uh, I obviously am a huge fan of music and, and some of my favorite artists are putting out new songs uh, all the time. And so it's hard for a movie like this because they obviously have to secure it so far in advance that sometimes a song will come out and you're like, oh, this would have been perfect. Um, but by that time it's far too late. So yeah, I have those moments, but I really do think the movie uh, has so many great songs. I mean, in this one and the, all of them, but this one especially is some of the best, so I'm excited about it. Yeah, so um, like I said, uh, she, when we meet her in the second, mil in the second movie, she uh, is very just overly eager, overly ambitious, wants to do the best uh, job she could possibly do with everything she's involved in. Uh, and we meet her uh, in the third movie and she's kind of, she's got the hang of things a little bit more. Um, she is equally as excited about everything in life, but she uh, controls her emotions a little bit more. But she's very positive and she's a hard worker. About a month, uh, we go down to the, the city that we're shooting in and we'll have rehearsals. And that's one of my favorite parts of the whole process is really just kind of figuring it all out before you get on stage. And the crazy thing is, is even though it's a movie and we have multiple takes to get it right, somehow every time it feels like the first time we shoot a performance, it feels like it's like a real thing and we're on stage as the Bellas and we're like doing this real life performance and I would get nervous and the girls, we'd all get nervous. And it was just so fun because we had spent so much time rehearsing it and making sure it was as good as it could have been. And then we went out there and we did it. Um, well, there, our choreographers uh, were incredibly, uh, you know, um, just helpful in making us feel as comfortable as we could. And uh, we came on to this movie, and a lot of us have dance experience, but we came on as actors and as singers. Um, and so they really wanted to make sure that they could help us look as best we could in the dancing part of it all. So if there was any time where uh, one of us or a few of us sort of didn't feel necessarily comfortable with how something looked, they were completely open to suggestions and, you know, helping make it look the best it could.